Hey guys, I'm Captain Dark and this is my Dwarf Fortress video tutorial part uh, 25. Uh, today is going to be all about fluids, about the water, about magma, and how to take care of them without dying yourself. Um, first of all, let's show some things I did in the meantime, a whole lot. Filled the remote with water, which is my biggest problem at the moment. It caused, um, well, a little flooding here and there and um, yeah because of this you should really be careful with water uh, in my case it was me underestimating pumps but uh, more about pumps in another issue another uh, video even um, let's go on to an explanation um, I prepared something over here wait over here um, here this seems nothing yet at the outside but there we go, down level. Uh, it shows my constructions. Going down, down, down. And all the way to the bottom. Okay, this probably tells you nothing, so I prepared a little. Uh, because I'm going to show you something about tubes and water. Um, let me show. Room. Look at my beautiful painting. This is basically what I did. Um, as you see here, here's the water, uh, there's a little lake, and I made a shaft here, and another shaft which goes all the way up here, and there's some stairs which I used for building. This is like a vertical view of uh, the Dwarf Fortress, I made this in MS Paint myself. Well, the problem with water is, in normally in games, uh, when you drop the water, it will just stop here, it will fill up and stop here. But in Dwarf Fortress, this is not so. Uh, it's like in real life, if there's a lot of water over here, then a lot of water will push, be, be pushed up over here too. And maybe even to this little uh, basin I made uh, in the mountain or whatever you call that. And um, yeah, this is something that the water does in real life. It doesn't do this often in games, but it's a killer, and especially in Dwarf Fortress. Um, Let's uh, let's see what happens because I prepared here and this is my test too. I haven't actually tried this before. Let's see how far the water drops and how far it rises. Um, I just need to destroy this tile over here and then the water from this little lake will rush in all the way to the bottom. Um, of course, this will take a while and my miners are. Busy making some big rooms for later. Uh, so I'm pausing the video until the hole is opened. Alright, here we go. Uh, here's a miner, he's opening the hole over here. Or the channel even. And yeah, my FPS is really slow at the moment. And there goes the water flow. You can see it goes into the little hole over here. From which it will drop all the way down to this level not yet but in a second is there any water here not yet uh, that's just a little garbage dump the problem is that my because of all the water in the level my fps has been shot i hardly have any frame rate at all uh, this is taking making things go very slowly well, here's the water still falling. <laughs> it should reach the ground at any moment now. <laughs> Maybe I should pause this. Uh, at first, let's see the water land. Normally, water falls down in like an instant. But yeah, my game is too slow at the moment. Much too, way too much water. Um, any water now? Nope. This is an open space. Hmm. Uh, well, I have a lot to explain, so I'm pausing the video for a moment. And just as I press the pause button, the first drop of water shows up over here. Um, anyway, now I need to pause anyway. This water will probably all drown, drain down here. You, as you know, water uh, spreads itself all the way to one depth. And yeah, because this, this water wants to spread itself. Uh, all the water will go into the little hole over here that I made. 
fall all the way down. And maybe we'll go up on the other side, at least that's what I'm expecting to happen. Pausing until uh, that happens. Alright, it has happened. This is the bottom level. This is the level just above the bottom. And you see there's two water over here. Even though there's no way there should be water in here. There is still some water over here. It's because it really it's pushed up. This space over here, you can't see it because of the mist, but has 7-7 seven, seven water, it's just full tile. And that that weight is pressing this side up of the little YouTube you uh, like to I've made, not a YouTube. Um, anyway, this proves that the water could go up, and this will probably rise a lot further. Um, let I'm gonna pause the video and see how far it goes. All right, it ended up all the way over here. Uh, so as you can see, the the, the water in you like tubes is very dangerous and uh, also I made a stupid mistake and didn't wall off the stairs uh, so those stairs are full of filling up with water now too but this was a little uh, standard structure extra structure to show and prove things anyway um, so well that was that as you can see it floods uh, it goes like 10 Z levels down and the other side of the tube it goes up again. And I might wonder why is this important? Well, there's uh, one little mistake that which I have made in the past and some of you probably also made and are, are going to, were going to make. So I've prepared another picture. This is about the mistake I made. Um, this little st not a stupid M paint painting. Um, this was about my forge, just the same as I have now. Uh, and I thought it was a good idea to have a well in my fortress, so I dug some paths. And yeah, I have the well over here. Um, but yeah, that's the problem with the YouTube. The YouTube. With the U. Um, anyway, if I, what happened is what will happen here because I've altered the picture a little bit, if you, which you can probably see, is I dug out this tile. And then the water fell in, <laughs> go, was, goes in like this and floods my whole fortress. What happens is the same as the YouTube U effect. <laughs> Let's call it just U. Uh, the water goes down here, there's a lot of water pressure, pushes the water out here, and then it floods the rest of your fort. Um, so yeah, that's why this was very important. And um, damn, I'm almost out of time. Um, okay, pausing. Okay, uh, and the main thing is what I want to say is, well, to just to redirect water, it's pretty easy. Just dig channels and make sure you're safe. And um, when you're working with pumps, make sure you're extra safe. Um, also, uh, this looks like a, an open entrance into the fortress, but just like I said in an earlier movie. Uh, fortifications are like filters, water filters, which filter out enemies, but let water too. So I put a uh, fortification here, and here's all water from the fall of pump over here. And yeah, that filters out enemy enemies, and they enemies can't get in my, into my fortress over here. Uh, but the water can get out. I use the same thing over here. This is down the Grand River where I was pumping the water from. And here is the the block fortification. Although, it doesn't always 100% work, there's one little bug or something, and here a giant toad got through it, and even an, uh, an Olm got through it here, an old man even. Uh, so when you do it, it's actually the best is to do, the best thing is to make multiple lines of full fortifications, uh, as I've done um, over here. Oh wait, no. Over here. This is the magma, but here, in the next update we'll uh, do magma, um, and see what I've done, I've built uh, a line of fortifications, floodgates, more about floodgates in the next update, and uh, more fortifications. Using this, it should be pretty safe to filter um, all, my enemy, all the enemies out, uh, here's some grates too, which will also stop the enemies. Uh, grids work the same as uh, fortifications, but they're like vertical. Well, your dwarves can still walk over them. 
And um, yeah, that's about the water warnings that I have. Um, in the next episode, I'll uh, set things running. First, let's end this with a ni nice note. I'm going to pull this lever, and the water magma officials start flowing to another room. More on that in the next update. Okay, that's all for now. Um, next update, magma forging and magma handling. Okay, later guys.